Good morning, Year 7. So, yesterday we were looking at food chains. Today we're going to move on to look at food webs. Now, yesterday, obviously, it was a very simple representation with the grass being eaten by the rabbit and the rabbit being eaten by the fox. However, in a habitat, it isn't that simple. There will be lots of animals eating grass. The rabbit will not only eat grass, it will eat other things as well as will the fox. Fox doesn't only eat rabbit, it will source other food. So a food web shows how lots of plants and animals are interlinked and what eats what. So hopefully that will give you a little bit of information for the lesson today. So what you will need to do is spend the first 40 minutes looking at food webs. The information is all on Shobi with the links for you to click on and the worksheets for you to complete. For your second lesson today, we're going to move on to something new and we're going to look at adaptations. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any polar bears in West Byfleet. However, this is the closest that I got. So if you think about a polar bear, it lives somewhere where it's very, very cold and very, very snowy. So its fur appears white, so it's camouflaged against the snow so it can sneak up on its prey. It has a very thick layer of fat underneath its fur to give it insulation to keep it warm in the very, very cold temperatures. This one doesn't, slightly lacking. However, they would normally have very sharp claws in order to catch their prey. So a polar bear is adapted to its surroundings and that enables it to live in the climate and in its habitat. So what I'd like you to do for that part of the lesson is to look at the video clips, to listen to the adaptation song um, about the camel that you probably have heard before, and then to follow any further instructions on Shobi. So just remember for today, the first 40 minutes are to be spent on food webs, and the second 40 minutes is going to be looking at adaptations. So check the instructions on Shobi and enjoy the lesson.